it's so hot finally it feels so nice just running some errands i had to come to the mall <laughs> jury is very graciously sponsoring today's video and Y'all know that so many of my most coveted, cherished pieces are from Missouri. I've been wearing their jewelry for years. I've been chit-chatting about them for years. And as a big jewelry wearer, I love having pieces that I wear from season to season that really reflect kind of like how I'm feeling that season. So I was so excited to pick out some very summery pieces that I felt would go with my wardrobe really well that I can wear every day. I feel like this micro pearl necklace is gonna be that for me. I just think it's really classic and very chic, but also kind of like fun and playful and summery, and I love that. I also picked out this Gorge Signet ring, and I got it in white gold because I'm really trying to mix my metals, and I do usually wear silver and gold together, but I figured that I could start growing my white gold collection as well. I also feel like summer is kind of synonymous with anklets, so I also got the Micro Pearl anklet, and then just a plain gold chain anklet as well because I had one a while ago and I lost it, and I've been wanting to replace it for so long. I'm really excited to get this one because it's so dainty, it looks so beautiful, it just has like a very very cutie glisten, very reminiscent of like friendship anklets that I used to make when I was younger. All the pieces that I'm wearing in this video will be linked down below. Thank you, Missouri. I think I must go home and get back to work. <laughs> Answer some more emails. Maybe make some lunch. I just feel so grateful that it's warm and sunny. As a fire sign, like triple fire, I really, really need the sun. On my way home, I've been listening to Beach House all day and I feel like every time I listen to Beach House, I feel very reflective and I was thinking about and I was thinking about jewelry and how it's such a big part of my identity and how I think it's really important if you do want to collect pieces or you want to use it for self-expression to like find pieces that you really connect with and really feel like reflect you and get beautiful pieces that are going to last. Hi, it's Wednesday afternoon. It's just past 4.30 and I've been working all day. I've had so many deadlines recently, which is great, but it's not very exciting to show. But I just wanted to update y'all on some reading because I've been sharing a lot more about the books I've been reading. I've been far more interested in starting that sort of discourse here on my channel and in the comment section and with y'all. So I just wanted to give you an update on what I've been reading. I know in the, my last vlog I spoke about The Waves by Virginia Woolf, which I'm still listening to as an audiobook, but I finished up a couple books in the past little bit. My last book club book was A Scanner Darkly by Philip Dick. I give it three out of five stars on Goodreads. I thought it was good but it didn't it had no lasting impact on me i think if you are someone who is sensitive to addiction and what addiction does to you i would give a trigger warning to this book because it is solely about addiction and as far as i know philip dick did struggle with addiction and i think it's kind of autobiographical in some ways it's very interesting it just didn't resonate me with me that much um, he's also the author of, is it Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Basically what Blade Runner was based off of. So I was very intrigued by it and I'm, and I'm curious to read more of his novels, but this one in particular I didn't love. And then our next book club pick, which is picked by Becca, is Chain Gang All Stars. And my boyfriend and I are sharing a copy this time, so he's going to read it first and then I will read it after so i haven't started that but it's on my tbr for this month and then what else did i read i just finished tuesdays with maury which i think is kind of a classic my mom lent it to me and suggested i read it so i read it and it's very philosophical a very basic book about about being present about loving about having compassion 
and a very good tale of life is short and you should do the thing and you should tell the people you love that you love them. And I thought it was good. I gave it four out of five stars. It's a very quick little read. And then I think I'm going to start The Secret History by Donna Tartt. It's been on my TBR for a while. I bought it last month from Russell's, which is a great bookstore here in Victoria. They sell a lot of used books, which is amazing. And I'm just itching for that kind of novel. So I think I'm going to start that today. I set a goal for myself to read 20 books this year and I've already read 12. So I'm feeling really good. I never anticipated reading as much as I have been. It has been such a gift to spend time reading and to be more in tune with literature and having it be a topic of conversation with my friends. I know I sound like a broken record because I've mentioned this before, but I just have felt, I've just found so much joy in reading recently. I have a little bit more work to finish up this evening. I really have been hustling y'all. Like I've been hustling way harder than I think I ever have as a freelancer. It feels really good. I feel like I'm on the right track. I've been kind of thinking about doing some furthering education. I have so many ideas bouncing around my head. Maybe this is something I'll talk about another time, but I just have a lot on my mind. I feel like I'm having some sort of renaissance moment or something. I forgot to mention that I went to Tofino this past weekend, which my friends and I do every year during the long weekend. So I'm going to put anything that I filmed while I was there in now, and it can act as a sweet beach break interlude to this video. really pared down not I guess not that much but I definitely have made my makeup routine pretty chillsy recently feeling a little bit worn out I'm not gonna lie I 
had a really busy work week and today is going to be really busy as well and I need to get ready really quick to film something. No complaints, just a lot going on. Stopped filling in my eyebrows with eyeshadow, which I used to do and I did a couple days of just nothing and I realized I do like a tiny bit of something in there so I've been using this Ilia actually the label is rubbed off I'm sure they probably only have one pencil but I have mine in the color taupe and I just do a tiny tiny bit mainly where my arch is and then just a little bit in the front just to give them a tiny bit more structure and fullness. And then I force myself to stop. I really could overdo it. I think we're gonna go try and see some more live music tonight. It's so lovely that in the summer there are so many free concerts and free events, primarily centered around music that happen in Victoria. So I like to go to as many of them as possible. Really trying to prioritize a nice balance of things. like exercising, eating well. I mean, let me tell you, we're all on the same journey here. <laughs> but I really want to get a grip on it this summer. And last night we went to that free show in Centennial Square and I saw so many friends and it felt really nice to have, oh my God, it's so loud, I apologize. It felt really nice to have that sort of social fulfillment after work because as you know, I just am at home all day by myself. They didn't realize how much I need to like run into my acquaintances or like run into people that I don't spend a lot of time with just like catch up with them and like stretch that muscle of having small talk because I really love it <laughs> I don't do it enough and Victoria is such a small city that you do often see the same people at a lot of the different events and I like having those run-ins with people. Definitely gonna prioritize it a little bit more. Okay, the girly group chat is going off right now, so I might have to stop this so I can see what everyone is saying. Hi y'all. I haven't really vlogged all day because I was just working. I am currently walking through Rockland, just the most beautiful neighborhood in Victoria. And we're just watching some live music. I met up with Paige and Nick. There was one at Government House, and so I'm just walking back to my car. I have a little bit more work to do tonight. It's like 7.45 maybe. And, but I'm just walking home and it's like, it's just so idyllic and beautiful through here. We were kind of chatting a little bit about just going out in the evening and like trying to take full advantage of summer and I really have been like thinking about my summer bucket list and I mentioned this, oh, I thought it was a free chair because you know I love chairs, but I mentioned this or I did like a whole little video um, of my bucket list over on TikTok, but I thought I would share a few of them here because I also would love, I would love to hear about your bucket list, summer bucket list items as well. And I think as we've been getting into, oh my gosh, I don't know if I've ever even been down this way before. Should we keep going? This way? As we've been getting into this nicer weather, I definitely think I'm into prioritizing just more social things, more outdoor things in the evening. Love to have more picnics more community-minded events or like going to more community events and just like really just really trying to be present i think that's my my main focus for the summer so just really enjoy it everyone's garden is so beautiful too look at this so nice i also would love to go to the lake more I would love to cook some delicious meals for my friends, host them at my house. Just want to really soak it all in. I feel so grateful that I get to live here and I have to stop making excuses for why I can't go somewhere in the evening like I am right now and just enjoy all the daylight hours and soak up the sun and I don't know, just be around my friends. Am I sounding too cheesy now? <laughs> I also really want to prioritize exploring Victoria more 
by foot. I walk around so much, but I usually always take the same route places and I'm having such, this is such a refreshing moment I'm having walking through or like walking down a street. Like I rarely ever come down Craig Derrick. It's like you're on Fort Street and facing Craig Derrick. I usually go up the left side and never come out the right side. So it's just the little things, baby. Moments of reflection like this are really, are integral to me keeping my little noggin screwed on tight. Mm -hmm.